Drew Nicholas is here at the 100th anniversary event for Maryland basketball. Got one 30-second question to ask you. Tell me about the shot that beat UNC Wilmington. Special. Uh, it was obviously, it was a special, special sh shot, special game. Uh, senior year, first round of NCAA tournament, and one of those shots that uh, you know I'll carry with me for the rest of my life. How often do you think about that at this time of year? Now that we have officially entered the month of, of March. Yeah, it, it, it always comes up. You know, as soon as March Madness comes rolling around and the commercials start playing, and just knowing that I have a small piece of, of NCAA history like that, it's uh, it's really remarkable. A lot of a, a lot of times on Twitter, somebody will retweet it and retweet the shot and tell me where they were. And I think that's one of the most special things about it is I get to hear everybody's stories about exactly where they were and if they knocked over their grandmother's table or something crazy like that. But um, you know, it, it seems just like yesterday. I was I was running down that floor with five seconds left and and throwing up a prayer that got answered. Last shot at winning this game. Hold into inbound. The tournament on the line right now. Holding inbounds to Nicholas. Four seconds, three seconds. He's across midcourt. Two seconds, one second. Throws it up. And he got it! And the Terrapins win on the shot by Nicholas at the buzzer! Oh! Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C., Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Yeah, um, I, I think I've told enough people that by now that it's not a, a, a true surprise, but I thought that I was going out my college career with an air ball. Um, you know, when I let it go, I thought that I didn't put enough on it. And when I saw the ball go through the hoop, it, it was magical. So is, is that the most surprising shot you've ever taken then? Uh, definitely the most surprising shot I've ever made. I don't know about taken because, you know, sometimes you're in some crazy situations and you got to put something up there. But given the circumstances, it being my senior year and the NCAA tournament, by far the biggest shot of my career. And what about a couple, I mean, obviously a couple years earlier, there were some special things going on too. I mean, again, yeah. just think back about that there's so many of them just because I think starting in my sophomore year we had the final four run after you know we had a stretch of period where we weren't playing well and then we made that magical run followed up by the year where we won the national championship and um, remembering Juan throwing the ball up in the air and, and me and Steve running to chase after him. I can't wait to see him because he still has that ball and I'm still I'm still a little mad at him. But uh, you know, we'll talk about that later. Uh, so many memories from from those years. And just one last one. What's it like to be here tonight and you know reconnect with your old teammates and just the Maryland greats of you know yesterday? Yeah, it's uh, the, I, I was really looking forward just just to have the opportunity to to see some of my former teammates. Obviously, as life goes on, everybody kind of gets pushed and pulled in different directions. But to be able to see all those guys and um, you know, just for a small period of time, be able to think about what we created and what we did in the past, it's special. Yeah. Thank you. This is Mason Viner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast.